Hi, my name's Chris, and today I'm going to show you how to fit a card to a picture frame properly so that you can hang it. So let's see what we need. Obviously, we need a couple of fittings to fit to the frame for the card to connect to. Now these are D-rings, very standard stuff for picture framing. And to fit them, we need a couple of pan-headed screws, which we need to make sure they're not gonna screw through the frame. Bit of a nightmare. A pencil and a measuring tape, some card, and an electric screwdriver or an awl to make the hole and a manual screwdriver. Uh, I'll go through all of this stuff at the end um, in detail so that you can just watch the video if you want to and never mind about this stuff. So let's crack on. First of all we need to mark where we're putting the two D-rings. Now usually it's a quarter of the way down the frame these frames, I do them very often, they're just over 800 millimetres, so I always measure 200 millimetres from the top of the frame down the side and mark exactly 200 millimetres. And the reason I mark exactly 200 millimetres is because I like the option of putting two pins in the wall and hanging the frame level on those two pins and if they're not exact then the picture frame is going to be out of kilter isn't it so let's connect the d-rings there's one and the other Right, now, the card. How long do we need the card? Well, what I do is just hold it here, go to the other end, and that again, so you're doubling it, and then you're adding 200, 250 millimeters of card to tie the nuts and have a couple of tails. So, double it up, you've got a loop, push it through the D-ring and then just thread the other two tails through the loop. But before you tighten it, just make sure that these two are together and then just ease that nut tight. Now I pull the two cards so that they're not twisted and then poke the tails through the top again of the D-ring over the card back through the D-ring underneath and then through the loop now to tighten it we need to pull the card holding these two tails between these fingers pull the card nice and taut and then pinch it on the D-ring. And when you pull the tails, you'll have a nice tight knot with a nice taut card. You can pull that as tight as you like, but what's going to happen is it's going to pull these two sides in. And if your backing isn't snug, then it's going to bend them. So you just want it taut. And then to tidy up the tails, you need a little piece of paper tape again. Just wrap it round nice and tight, just to stop them flapping around. Looks a bit nicer. And that's it. That's a card fitted to a picture frame so that you can hang it on a hook. Simple. Let's have a closer look at the stuff that I've been using to do this, because it is ideal. 
These D-rings are very standard fittings for picture framing. Use a couple of them and a couple of pan headed screws to fit them. These are half inch screws and they don't go through any of the frames that I use. And the thinnest frame I use is about 12 millimeters. Obviously, you know what a pencil looks like. And I use these little Stanley three meter measuring tapes. I use them for all, all the joinery I do. And they're like three or four quid on Amazon or something. And then I've got this Bosch PSR which is very light and um, easy to use, reverse, drill. Um, it's, it's also got a light. Um, don't use that in here, of course. But then, um, if you wanna change the bit, you just retract the one that you're using, find the one that you need, and it comes with all these bits in there. Obviously you can just take them out and change them as they, as they wear out. So that is all you need. And obviously the, the card, I'll put a link to the one I use. So if you got something from this, give us a like and subscribe if you want some more picture framing and joinery tips. Take care. See ya.